Everybody, when talking about leadership, is always thinking about leader. But leadership actually is a process. It's not about just one person or a group of people. It's how they work together under specific contexts and requirements. One of the things people got to take care is what kind of people you have, what kind of followers you have, what kind of organizational contacts you have. For startup company, that's very different from the、uh, well organized、uh, organizations, right? It's very different. They have different culture. They have different values. And leader itself also have very different attributes, like different personality, values,、um, visions. Figuring out those components would be、uh, more important to identify the, which leadership is more、uh, viable, more effective. We collect 250 Division One basketball players. We want to see how their leaders,、uh, their coach leadership styles, actually impact on their dependence、uh, on their coach over time. And we figure it out when coach have really strong and、um, effective leadership styles, their athlete. The reliance actually decrease over time. That means for each different players, they know what they they should do. They have the, they put their personal goal align with the team goal and actually maximum their efforts to achieve those team goals together. For those athletes with receive lower leadership score, their reliance is increasing over time. They don't know what should they they should do, so they rely on their instruction from their coaches. We we try to encourage coach to understanding cultivating independence is very important for them to help their athletes understanding who they are and maximize their performance for the team. During the pandemic, we actually conduct a research. On different、uh, virtual teams, and we figured out one very important features of virtual teams is the conflict itself increasing sharply over time.、Uh, one of the reason is because during the virtual environment, there's not a lot of informations you can see, and people usually get into virtuals、uh, just focus on task. They don't care about. Each members their personal life, their personal hobbies, how's their families going on. That's something we usually have in the real world situations. So I think leadership plays a role right there. A leaders, especially in the virtual context, you should facilitate people to share some of those if they are willing to, and then transition to the task. That can help to decreasing the conflict by enhancing the diversity of the topic people talk in the virtual situations. Care each virtual members as you know as a person as a very important person focus, human focus are probably the most important foundations for the virtual team success. My name is Joey Tai, assistant professor in the School of Management, Binghamton University. 